what does a control rod do? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? <laughs> do we look that desperate? How do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... Mm, troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? Well, that sounded reasonably honest, so I'll give him that. Saying that it might not work. Okay, what's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Hmm. Okay, how much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I've paid too much to simply throw it away. Well, if the price is free, I guess I could use it. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. And if it doesn't? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Oh, why? Because your elf isn't good enough to find it? Ugh. Getting sick and tired of the prejudice around here. Okay, let's see. All right, he was good enough. He was good on his word and has marked it. This is Honleith, um, and we're getting closer to the blight than I would have liked. But uh, I guess we don't have a choice if we want that golem. So, uh, let's head that way. Hmm. Another narrow corridor. This is usually not good. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Okay, they attacked us. I have no idea who they are. But okay. We're here to help. Trap right ahead. Oh, seems you were right, Liliana. It is a trap. Elven assassin is wounded and unconscious, but alive. You could tie him up and talk to him if you wished. Well, I'm not one to just kill a man when he's down, so let's see what he has to say. Mmm. Oh, what? I. Oh. Oh, I rather thought I would wake up dead. Or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. 
I have some questions, Mr. Assassin. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. I'm rather happy you failed. So would I be, in your shoes. For me, however, it sets a rather poor precedent, doesn't it? Getting captured by a target seems a tad detrimental to one's budding assassin career. Too bad for you, then. Yes, it's true. Too bad for me. So what are these Antivan crows? I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva, very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. You came all the way from Antiva? Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. Indeed. So, who exactly hired you to kill us? Though I have my suspicions. A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. So would that mean you're loyal to Logan? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Well, that's something, at least. And now that you've failed that particular service? Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. And when were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. And how much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The Crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a Chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan Crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> then why are you one? Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The Crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The Crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. You're quite talkative. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. <laughs> so you aren't even at least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. I'm listening. Make it quick. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So, let me serve you instead. Hmm, how convenient. And can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. And what's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. 
Doesn't sound like the best system when it comes to uh, retaining assassins, but eh, 